Welcome to another FreeNAS and TrueNAS video tutorial. Be sure to click the notifications button so you can stay up to date with all of our open source and TrueNAS videos. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to set up CloudSync and object storage on your TrueNAS system. This tutorial assumes you have a dataset created, which we'll be using to synchronize data to the cloud. Check out our other video, Datasets, Snapshots, and SMB Shares if you haven't already. TrueNAS allows you to store copies of your data in several cloud providers, such as Amazon S3, Backblaze B2, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud Platform. Integration with the cloud can keep your data safe from local disasters through the TrueNAS Cloud Sync feature. The replication process can be done with a push and pull synchronization of data between a TrueNAS storage system and a compatible storage cloud. TrueNAS encrypts in flight data to protect your information during the transfer. We'll go ahead and configure Cloud Sync to connect with a cloud bucket. The CloudSync feature available on TrueNAS allows you to schedule regular backups from TrueNAS to your cloud. To begin setup of a cloud, go to System, Cloud Credentials, then Add. Give this cloud credential setting a name. Choose the cloud provider from the drop-down list. In this example, we are using Backblaze B2. To proceed to the next step, we need an application key ID and master application key for the Backblaze B2 account we're using. Let's head to backblaze.com and create our free account. Once you've set that up, go to My Account on the top right, then App Keys under B2 Cloud Storage. You will see your key ID there. Now, click Generate New Master Application Key. It will alert you that the old key will be replaced. Click Yes to proceed. Now, copy the key ID into the Application Key ID field back on your TrueNAS system and the application key into the master application key field. Click Verify Credential to verify that the Backblaze keys work on your TrueNAS system. Click Submit when you're done. You should see your new cloud credential for Backblaze B2 listed here. The next step is to create a bucket. Head back to your Backblaze B2 web panel. Under B2 Cloud Storage, go to Buckets. Go ahead and create a bucket and give it a unique name. You should see your new bucket in the B2 Cloud Storage Buckets page. Now, back on your TrueNAS system, our next step is to create a Cloud Sync task which schedules push and pull data synchronization between your TrueNAS system and the Cloud Service Bucket. Go to Tasks on the left side menu, Cloud Sync Tasks, and then click Add. Give your Cloud Sync task a description. For a direction, Push will sync files from your dataset onto the cloud. Pull will sync files from your cloud to your dataset. Let's choose Push to sync our files that are in the TrueNAS dataset into the Backblaze cloud. Choose the cloud credential you created earlier from the drop-down list. Now, choose the bucket you created earlier from the drop-down list. In the second folder icon, choose the path to your TrueNAS dataset where you'll be syncing files from. For transfer mode, make sure you understand what sync, copy, and move does with regards to your push or pull direction. Sync will change files on the destination to match the source, and delete it if it doesn't exist in the source. Copy will copy files on the destination from the source and overwrite any with the same name. Move will copy the files to the destination, then delete it from the source, and overwrite any with the same name. I'll choose Sync, since I want my files on the Backblaze cloud to be exactly the same as what's on my TrueNAS dataset. Next, you'll want to set a schedule that allows a sync task to occur regularly. Choose from the presets or choose custom to set your own. In this example, I will set it daily. Next, click Submit when you're done configuring the Cloud Sync tasks. You will see your new Cloud Sync task here. The status will let you know if the task has been run. Make sure you have files in your TrueNAS dataset so you can see if the sync tasks work properly. Click the arrow on the right side and click Run Now. If you want to synchronize your files from the TrueNAS dataset to the cloud right this moment. If your sync worked, it will say Success under Status. Let's go back to the Backblaze B2 web panel. Go to Browse Files, under B2 Cloud Storage, then choose the bucket you used for the sync. You should see your files from your TrueNAS dataset uploaded to this cloud. An example use case is TrueNAS A replicating TrueNAS B which also syncs to the Amazon S3 cloud. TrueNAS A can restore from the cloud without having to go through TrueNAS B. Using the Cloud Sync feature, you can back up your data on your TrueNAS to the cloud. Thanks for watching this tutorial video. 
Visit ixsystems.com to learn more about TrueNAS and iX Systems. Be sure to check out our other tutorial videos on our YouTube channel. And don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and click the bell to receive alerts on new videos. Whether you need software-defined storage, enterprise-grade support with high availability, or scale-out multi-node management, TrueNAS has a complete storage solution that fits virtually any application and budget. Visit TrueNAS.com to see why millions of individuals and businesses depend on TrueNAS to keep their data safe and secure.